It's Geek Week on YouTube, so this episode of Five Facts is all about comics. We're coming to you from The Lair, an awesome shop in the Bronx, New York, where you can get comic books, statues, hats, t-shirts, everything for your geeky desires. Any, who's this? This is Grizz. He's part of my super friends now. I thought we were going to be called the League of Danger. We haven't decided yet. Is, is that Grizz from 30 Rock? Do you know another Grizz? All right, I guess Grizz is in the show. Uh, let's just reset the shot for Grizz. Welcome to Five Facts, it's Annie. And Matt. I'm Grizz. Do we have the shot? Was everyone in the frame here? Oh yeah, 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 you're, you're fine, you're fine. In 1983, a villain named Ice Cream debuted in X-Men comics. His superpower? He could transform into any flavor of ice cream at will. Yeah, that sounds really useful. Mmm, mmm, I got mango. What flavor did you get? Mine tastes like ass. Oh, is it that bad? No, it literally tastes like a human ass. A series of Spider-Man comics from the 70s features the Spider-Mobile, this dune buggy type of thing that Spider-Man agreed to drive around in because he was low on rent money. Cool, so it's like the Batmobile? Sort of. Does it have a missile launcher? No. Does it have a tear gas dispenser? No. It must at least spew out flames from the back, right? Only when it stalls out. So what does it have? It's got a bitchin' cup holder. Huh. It's better than Aquaman's Ford Fiesta. After the success of The Matrix in 1999, Keanu Reeves was the studio's top choice to play Wolverine in the 2000 film X-Men, but the director decided to cast a relatively unknown actor named Hugh Jackman. Wow, imagine if the studio got their way. All right, call it, and action. Hey, it's me, Keanu. I'm Wolverine. Okay, cut. Keanu, that's really good. Try it this one and don't say that your name is Keanu because in this movie your name is Wolverine. Alright, let's take it again. Hey, Magneto. It's me, Keanu Wolverine. No, no, sorry. One more time again. Your name is Wolverine, not Keanu. Go again. Surf's up, Magneto. It's Keanu Wolverine. Okay. I'm sorry. Alright, no, sorry. It's, it's alright. It's alright. That's just not in the script. Remember, in this movie, you don't surf, because your body is made out of metal, so if you surf, you drown and die. Okay? Right. Right, okay. All right, so take it again. No surfs up, just stick to the script. There is no spoon, Magneto. No, you don't no, control no, no. me. Keanu, the, Keanu. That's, no, that's not, that's not even close to the line. Sorry, one I more time. I just don't understand right. what you're going for. Okay, all right, let's, let's do this again. The line is, yes. Go again. No spoon, Mag what is it? Cut. One of the strangest members of the Green Lantern Corps is a sentient equation called de Kurtzy You know, I heard that equation's a pretty good dancer. Really? Yeah, he's got algorithm. Oh! No! In 1979, Marvel created a team of Canadian superheroes called Alpha Flight, with names like North Star, Sasquatch, and Puck. Honestly though, does Canada really have any problems that require the intervention of superheroes? Help! There's beavers drowning in the maple syrup reservoir. Help! Someone's replaced all our hockey sticks with slightly shorter hockey sticks. Help! Alan Thicke burned his tongue on Tim Horton's coffee. Hey. Thanks for watching Five Facts. Up, up, and away, Captain Sparkles! I thought my name was going to be Kavasi Scotch. No, I told you we haven't decided yet. We'll see you next week. Static in your butt? Your it's static. <laughs> static in my butt. It's got static on the butt. I love that song. I think it's by Nelly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or Chameleon Air. Oh, there. I'm going to put uh, Wolverine. Canadian, Canadian team of Canadian secret. Yeah. yeah, that's the joke. <laughs> Help! There's maple syrup drowning in beavers. <laughs> Help! Someone, no. Oh, no, no, no. Alan, the, Alan the Grizz, he's part of my super friends now. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Not, it's okay. It's okay. That's great. The of it literally tastes like a human's ass. <laughs>